A freaky eater is someone who takes an eating habit to an extreme. 36-year-old truck driver Misty is obsessed with tartar sauce. Mm. It arouses me. Mm, delicious. <laughs> she consumes as much as 10 bottles a week. It's sheer ecstasy. Ooh. Pouring it, drenching it on everything from cupcakes to spaghetti. Eating tartar sauce is almost like having an orgasm. Ah. Her children are revolted by her habit. Ah, that's disgusting. Oh. And fear the worst is yet to come. If my mom doesn't change her ways, she can die. With only one week of intense therapy. <sighs> You're morbidly obese. Can experts Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin stop Misty? Tartar sauce in your purse? From drowning in tartar sauce. Tartar sauce has taken over my life. My mom, Missy, is a freaky eater. 36-year-old Misty drowns everything she eats in tartar sauce. Every meal, every day. That's good. Nothing is off limits. I will eat it with anything and everything. Big rig driving Misty goes through a bottle of tartar sauce daily. It arouses me. Mm -hmm. It's sheer ecstasy. Ooh. Mm. In just tartar sauce alone, Misty consumes a mind-boggling 14,000 calories a week. It pops on your tongue and the excitement, I love it. It just gives food a whole new life. Annually, she consumes an astounding 40 gallons of tartar sauce. Eating tartar sauce is almost like having an orgasm. Mm. Five years ago, I was loving life and living life to the fullest. But that all came to a crashing halt with a night out on the town. My friends and I went out to eat. We put our leftovers all in the same container. Tartar sauce got all over my breakfast, and I fell in love with it. Since that time, she hasn't eaten a single food without tartar sauce. Misty's a single mom. Her kids, 16-year-old Gianni and 13-year-old Janisha, know that her tartar sauce addiction is destroying her life. Bam! Oh. Stop, please, that's disgusting. Oh. Mm -hmm. But can't get her to stop. We really want our mom to change up her whole diet, but it's like she doesn't really want to change. Since I've been on the tartar sauce binge, I put on at least 60 to 70 pounds. I'm not too proud of that. Now, I'm really out of shape. I'm out of breath. My get up and go got up and went. Social life, sex life, everything is I haven't been on a date for five years. Tartar sauce has taken over my life. There we go. I'm like really scared for her because if my mom doesn't change her ways, she could get really sick or even worse, she can die. Delicious. Woo. Love it. I know the tartar sauce isn't healthy, but I don't care. And this is my life. I'm indestructible, baby. With nowhere else to turn, Misty Sanjiani has asked freaky eater experts, Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin, to give Misty a week of intense therapy for her tartar sauce addiction. Misty, uh -huh. ah, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. I just got off work and I was ambushed by two people and I was floored. Dr. Mike Dow, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm a psychotherapist specializing in disordered eating and addictive behaviors. JJ Virgin. I'm a certified nutrition specialist and a certified health and fitness specialist. We were sent by your son Gianni. No. <laughs> yes, we were. He says that you have tartar sauce everywhere you go. Can we see your purse? Uh -huh. <laughs> go ahead. Tartar sauce in your purse, Missy, really? I don't know how they got there. <laughs> Open that truck. Oh, There's another one. wow. Here it is. She is powerless over the substance, and she's addicted. I need to see this in action. We needed to see it for ourselves, so we went to her house. So we got a spaghetti. Yes, sir. Jello and a big thing of tartar sauce. I was thinking to myself, she's not really going to put tartar sauce in that jello. Honestly, Ooh. we have to see it with our own eyes. <laughs> As I was eating in front of Dr. Dow and JJ, I really felt embarrassed. You've sort of crossed that line between 
using tartar sauce to feel pleasure like a treat mm -hmm. to needing it to feel normal. When you need something to feel normal, that's addiction. I really wasn't ready to admit I had an addiction. Mm. It's delicious. When you need tartar sauce for every meal of every day, you are dependent on that substance. Being a single mom, there's no husband to help you shoulder the stress of raising kids. Right. You feel like there's part of you that's missing. Right. Then you fill that hole with that tartar sauce. Right. I don't like the way that I'm living. You feel hopeless? Because yeah. you know that there's something that you're doing and... Yes, I do. <laughs> Misty feels lonely and overwhelmed, and she put that emotional need onto tartar sauce. What we need to do now is have you really feel the impact of what this tartar sauce addiction is doing to you. Okay. Come with us. Misty devours a bottle of tartar sauce a day. Woo. Her son Gianni has called in the freaky eater experts for help. I really wasn't ready to admit I had an addiction. I don't think Misty really understands that her tartar sauce eating is that big of a deal. It was time for shock therapy. <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I saw a slide. I saw a batch of tartar sauce. I could not believe my eyes. We've got five 40-gallon <laughs> canisters for you. Oh, my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you had to go way. for the taste, didn't you? <laughs> I think Misty broke out into laughter because part of her is quite shocked by it. What do you think that represents? About five years worth. Oh, honey, this here mm -hmm. is a year. And this there is another year. Over there, oh, four years, 156 gallons of tartar sauce. Misty is essentially drowning her life in tartar sauce. 2,000 calories a day, 14,000 calories a week, 740,000 calories a year. Not really like a big shocker as to how you've gained 60 to 70 pounds in a year, is it? It's crazy that I consumed that much tartar sauce. It was devastating to me. I would have never guessed in my wildest dreams that this is what I've been consuming yep. for the past five years. So you're shocked? Yes, most Disgusted? definitely. Yes, yes, oh, yes. We've got more then. We got uh, more. Come here. You're gonna have to don a poncho for yeah. this next piece. Yeah. Sometimes people just need to see the sheer volume of the amount of food that they're eating to come to terms with it. <laughs> so ready? we're, we're going to send a off. year's worth of tartar sauce rushing towards you right now. Are you ready? Here it comes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Just to see all that ooze and goo sliding down the slide, it even grossed me out. Oh, oh man, that is yeah. not appealing. Nasty. Oh, that's horrible. Now, you're not feeling like you want to stick your finger in that, are no. you? To see it in such volume, I couldn't even believe it. I actually eat this. Take your boots off. Go ahead and get in. I want you to really feel what your habit's like. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. How's that feel? It's, it's all the fat in that tartar sauce. This is, oh, no. The feel of the tartar sauce was disgusting. We wanted you to experience this sheer volume of tartar sauce that you're consuming. Next, we need to see the physical impact. We had something else we needed to show her. All right, I want you to stand in front of the mirror. What do you see? Heavy set woman. You're obese and most likely at this point morbidly obese. Oh, I didn't want to hear that. That was like a slap in the face. This could be as bad as it gets, but if you keep going. We had created a picture of Misty with about 50 more pounds on her. I don't want to get like that. Mm -mm, I don't even want to look. You have to look because you have to know what your tartar sauce is doing to you. 
Misty eats 740,000 calories a year of tartar sauce. She's got a high waist to hip ratio. Realistically, this could be Misty in just a year. That's horrible. <sighs> I was crushed. I don't ever want to see myself look like that. Are you in? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like between the drums of tartar sauce and the picture with 50 more pounds on her, oh, man. We've really got through to Misty. Do you want to create a new future? Yes, I do. Let's go get it. Come on. Oh. Oh. A day into therapy, Dr. Dow and JJ have opened Misty's eyes to the severity of her tartar sauce addiction. So you're shocked? Yes, yes. Now JJ wants to get Misty back on track with her diet. I knew that if I was going to get Misty to stop eating tartar sauce, I had to have some healthy alternatives that she enjoyed. Instead of starting with a base of mayonnaise, we're gonna start with a base of Greek-style yogurt. Tartar sauce is 74% fat, while the Greek-style yogurt JJ is using is only 2% fat. I want you just to taste it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when I first tried the Greek yogurt, it was disgusting. Now, that's just the base. We're going to experiment with a bunch of different tastes, and we're going to find a couple things that you like. Misty loves the tang, the bite, the pop of tartar sauce. I put together a lot of fun and healthy ingredients that she can mix into the Greek-style yogurt. Spicy mustard, bruschetta, pesto, and this is preserves, and this is raw organic honey. These ingredients vary in their fat and calorie content, but all have health benefits that tartar sauce can't provide. You're gonna play master chef here, okay? Okay. I was nervous because I still had the tartar sauce going through my mind. This was gonna be an uphill battle. Barefoot on glass. <laughs> Where do you wanna start? With the raw honey. All right. Let's try the bruschetta. See, I'm having you choose because this would not have been one that I would have put together. <laughs> Kind of a strange combination. Try it with a cracker. There you go. Oh, that's good. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You would have never gotten me to eat that, but it was really good. What's next? Right, let's try the berries, cinnamon. Let's go for the champagne vinegar. Oh my God, this is the bomb. Really? Mm-hmm. I would mind incorporating the new sauces into my everyday meals. And get out of that tartar sauce rut. What have you learned here with trying all of these? That I do not have to have tartar sauce with every meal. It's a whole new world, honey. Hi, <laughs> I'm seeing <laughs> That's delicious, mm-hmm. With Misty's dietary choices now hinging on her willpower, Dr. Dow wants to delve into the impact of Misty's addiction on her family. How much do you worry about your mom right now? A lot. She's just in the house all the time. It's just, like, horrible. How long has it been since you've been out on a date? Wow. A while. <laughs> How long? A few years. <laughs> What's holding you back? My addiction. Does your addiction make you put on weight, and when you put on weight, you don't feel good enough to be out at a club? Right. Misty hasn't been on a date in years. Her tartar sauce addiction has cut her off from her life. What scares you the most? You could possibly die on just eating tartar sauce too much, Mom. And when I think about my sister, you won't be there for her for when she grows up, for things I can't teach her. We want you to stop. How does it feel hearing your son talk about, you know, his fear of losing you. It hurts me to know that. It really does. It really does. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. You love your kids. I can see that I so do. much. I had no idea that my son felt the way that he felt. I was totally in the dark. Are you living right now? No, I'm not. What are not. you doing? You're existing and drowning in tartar sauce. Exactly. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Do you want to start living? I want to start living. All right. I do. So can you commit that you're going to choose your family over tartar sauce? They're worth it. There's nothing I wouldn't do for them. 
For the next four days, Misty will be on her own as the experts leave her with strict instructions. Item number one, I promise I am not going to touch tartar sauce. I promise I am not going to touch tartar sauce. My mouth says I won't slip, <laughs> but the tongue, I don't know what it might do. The other thing is you are going to get moving. Go oh. out and walk. Got it. Good. And the piece of homework for me is spend some time with your kids. Get out there and invest in those relationships. OK. Sounds good. All right. Start living. All right. Going to do it. The stakes for Misty are very high. I sure hope she stays the course. I promise, no more tartar sauce. I like hearing that. <laughs> Misty has a crippling obsession with tartar sauce. All right. That is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the experts have left her with the tools she needs to kick her addiction. After JJ and Dr. Dow left, I was a little apprehensive, but I knew I had to push through it. Part of my homework was for me to eliminate tartar sauce from my diet. And I am going for that knockout, left, right, left, right, pow. Misty also tries exercise to take her mind off her nemesis. What's going to keep me motivated is not wanting to hear anybody calling me obese. So how was school? Good. By day four, Misty is ready to share her new sauce choices with her daughter. This is real good. It's my new concoction with the Greek yogurt and the spicy brown mustard. Mmm, 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 mmm. I feel healthier, lighter. I don't feel all bogged down. No more tartar sauce? No more tartar sauce. High five, baby. It's been seven days since Misty first started therapy. JJ and Dr. Dow return to check on her progress. Tartar sauce, has any passed your lips? No, I can honestly say there has been no tartar sauce on That's these amazing. lips. <laughs> Not a single drop of tartar sauce since we've been away. That's a pretty great improvement. I've got to see it for myself. I've got to look in your purse. Ta-da! Nothing. Nothing, mm -mm, nothing. Mm -mm. Side pocket. JJ did everything but turn the bag upside down. <laughs> she left no stone unturned. <laughs> she might just happen to find one. This is what she's digging. <laughs> When JJ came up empty-handed, I felt like I'm on top of the world, Ma. <laughs> you passed. Have to look in your car later. <laughs> the more Misty experiences how great it feels to live without tartar sauce, the less likely she's ever going to go back to that old habit. Well, I think you get an A-plus on homework. What do you think? Yes, you do. Thank you. We've got one last thing for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a good one. You ready for it? Yes. Good. Let's go. <laughs> JJ and Dr. Dow take Misty to a restaurant, but a meal is not the surprise. You are about to speed date. <laughs> <laughs> Misty's been out of the dating scene and tartar sauce has prevented her from going on dates. So we wanted to make up for some lost time. You are now ready to let the world see this Misty that we see, which is this fun, confident woman. You're gonna be in charge. There's a yes. little bell here. Okay. You got about five minutes for each of your potential suitors. Okay. Of course, you can ding them at any time. <laughs> Don't okay. you love that? <laughs> I want Misty to start to feel good about herself again. Make good us luck. Proud. <laughs> Thank good you. Luck. We have several eligible bachelors lined up to see if they can win Misty's heart. But before speed dating begins, we have one final test for Misty. Hey, Denise. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. We had a waiter bring in some appetizers and some sauces. We have a pumsu sauce, spicy mayo, with a potato sauce. You can take the tartar sauce with you. OK. <laughs> OK. Misty was strong. She wouldn't even let the tartar sauce stay on the table. It made me so proud. Having aced her final test, Misty's ready to meet her suitors. I'm Hayden. Misty, nice to meet you. Misty. She's really ready to get her flirt on. What do you like to do in your spare time? I'm dancing, music, movies. What kind of dancing? All kinds. All kinds? You ready to bust a move? Uh. <laughs> so that's my time. I think so. It's up. All right. She's not I, messing I around. I picked that one. I love to do nighttime picnics, yeah. get the wine, some cheese, some fruit. Oh, my kind of girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I do. What do you like to do? Mm. They say that you like tartar sauce. I give Misty a lot of credit. She knows what she wants, and she's not afraid to go get it. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you, nice Elijah. To meet you as well. 
What do you do? Uh, aspiring uh, musician. So what else do you like to do? I want to live life to the fullest. That's my motto. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> live life to the fullest. We should get together sometime. Definitely. The speed dating experience, it's giving me a boost of confidence. The old Misty has broke out of their shell. So did you think of tartar sauce once during this whole mm, time? No. When you're so busy in your life and you're going on dates or hanging out with your friends, you don't need to do tartar sauce all day. Right. Before we met Misty, she was living with her sole friend being tartar sauce. Now she's let go of the tartar sauce and is stepping back into life. You're going to be just fine on your own. Yeah. Dr. Dow and JJ opened me up to a whole new world. I want to get out there and live life to the fullest. The new road is definitely not paved with tartar sauce, and it is behind me.